Hello everyone, in this video, we will discuss the current situation on the market, try to understand whether there will be a correction at all, and to what levels Bitcoin and alt Bitcoins can grow. So, let's start with the fact that in the previous video, I noted that there was a qualitative reversal here, and Bitcoin is likely to move higher. After the removal of this high, the mood was sharp, and a downward movement to 25600 was expected here. But I warned that there might not be a strong correction, in analogy with a reversal from $25,000. And if you try shorts, then with minimal risk. As a result, we got a slight decrease here, but there was no deep correction, and the growth continued. And where has Bitcoin come to at the moment? To the next target of $27,000, firmware there may also be a correction, since we are now in this resistance zone. If it tries to short, then the stop should be behind this level, it is 27,600, and again an understated risk. But, it is worth noting, that Bitcoin has confidently come to this goal, has not received a reaction from this mirror level, and has now plunged deep enough into this resistance zone. And on small time frames, we do not see signs of a reversal at the moment. And now it's worth looking closely at this move, that is, 27,400. Here, if there is an absorption, and a sharp decline, from the formation of the mortar block, you can try ashore with a stop for a new heim. At the moment, there are no obvious signs of a decline, and it is better to wait for the formation of a reversal pattern. The target for a potential correction from the current levels is here, it's 26,900. And also do not forget about the previous goal, which was not achieved, and it is 25,600. And whether there will be such a deep correction is also a difficult question, because Bitcoin is now holding very confidently, after the same confident reversal from below. And personally, I will keep an eye on the cat short position from this level of 28600, which is still relevant. In principle, if you made spot purchases and gained altcoins, which are now also stirring, then the hat short position can be considered approximately from the current marks also when forming a reversal pattern with a stop for this high up. But so far, everything looks like Bitcoin can safely continue moving 28600 after a local correction. But whether Bitcoin will go higher to its long-term goals above $33,000 is also a difficult question for now. And it will be confidently possible to talk about this after the removal of this high, that is 3200. If you look at the dollar index, then after removing this high, the priority goal is now in this zone, that is 108 points at least. And if the decline occurs from the current levels, then in my understanding, this is just a correction. Again, a priority upward movement. Therefore, I would not be so optimistic about cryptocurrencies. And given the growth that we are currently seeing, it is likely to end with a good decline. And even an update of the level of $24,700 with a hike much lower. But so far everything is good enough. There are no obvious signs of a reversal. Specifically for the dollar index, a reversal was also considered here, which was confirmed, but once again, it was completely broken, and the wild fi continued to grow. But despite this, Bitcoin also continued to grow, which is not good. Since, if the dollar index continues to grow again with Bitcoin, in my understanding, this is the accumulation of bearish potential. At the moment, the situation with the dollar index is also unclear. Another potential reversal, but we will not draw any concrete conclusions here, we will just continue to observe. Next, let's move on to altcoins, which as I said, are stirring. Let's start with the Ether, and I singled out the goal of $1,670, that is, the removal of this high, and in general, the Ether looks good specifically in the current realities, and you can single out a goal for growth of 1,670 as a menu. And more optimistically, this is the level of $1,800. And please note that this is the goal we have come to at the moment. And here there is an unusual swing pattern that can start a good correction. In other words, the specific Ether now looks bearish because we removed an important hype and did not go higher. In other words, we do not see continued growth with imbalances and so on. On the contrary, immediately decrease after the removal of this hail. But if we compare it with Bitcoin, then Bitcoin is already here. On the air, this is $1,700, and in my understanding, this goal should also be achieved. And now, we can count on a local correction. Is it worth trying a short position here? Again, with minimal risk, with a stop for this level, with the willingness that we will calmly go higher. But on the older time frames, everything looks like a correction based on this potential pattern of its own, which removes the important liquidity. At the same time, a conservative goal for growth is achieved. If we talk about the goals for this correction, then I would highlight this impulse and accordingly. Focus on prices below the 0 fifth level, that is, below $1,640. And after reaching these levels, 
the upward movement can continue precisely to the goal of $1,700. But if Bitcoin goes to $28,600, then accordingly, on the Ether, this is the level of $1,800 where it will also be possible to look closely at good short positions. Next, let's move on to the dot coin. I noted that there is no good reversal pattern here on a small time frame as it was on Bitcoin, but at the same time, we see quite a lot of breakdowns. And obviously, if Bitcoin was going to grow, then growth should have been expected for the DOT. The conservative target has also been achieved. It was at this level of $4 to $2, but I would count on continued growth and testing of this resistance zone, that is, $4 and $4 on the DOT. Most likely we will see more, but whether we will go higher is still difficult to say. We will navigate in this area. Next, let's move on to the Atom coin. Growth was also expected here, but in my understanding, this growth should end with a continuation of the decline. Because from the point of view of long-term time frames, there is no strong support zone here, and this blue looks very suspicious. Most likely, it will be updated. But at the same time, everything looks bad enough now. And the Atom also achieved the conservative goal that it highlighted in the previous video, which is seven and one dollars. Unlike Bitcoin, we got some kind of reaction here, but still, the upward movement will continue, and, most likely, the atom will go much higher. And the next target I would single out is level 8.9. There is a good resistance zone here. From here we can see a deeper correction, or even an update of the lay. Therefore, so far everything looks good. There are no obvious signs of correction or reversal, and the upward movement is likely to continue. Next, let's look at Solana. Let me remind you, here the instrument looked quite technical, that is, we came to the medium-term support zone. And here we showed multiple fractures, on which it was possible to make spot purchases, since Solana has goals firm above. And the very first and conservative goal is 22.3, which has not been achieved. It is to her, in my understanding, that the price will strive. Therefore, Solana is also expected to continue growing, but whether the instrument will go higher and what will happen in this zone is not yet clear. It is better to wait until the price reaches exactly this zone, that is 22.3. Next, let's look at the link coin, and like sending, we were also in the medium term support zone, where it was logical to accumulate new positions. Personally, I also bought the volume of the position that was sold here. And now, I personally plan to sell exactly that volume, that is, 30% at this level. That's 694. At the moment, this is a conservative target for current growth. From here, we can get a good correction, on which perhaps, I will return this volume. But in general, even if the growth continues, I will not be upset, because the position is good. The point of the move is also good. Let me remind you about the long-term goal above nine and a half dollars, which is still relevant. And as long as the link is below this price, you can safely accumulate it, which I do. But I make this sale just to reduce the risks because I have two large positions and many altcoins are in a big drawdown. And in case of a decline, I will have more stable coins to strengthen this or that position. Next, let's move on to the coin. And here we also made a sweat purchase and we see that there is some kind of reaction, but it is quite weak and so far. I would not draw specific conclusions on the X. At the moment, we have come to the resistance zone. Hence we are looking for a good reaction and a potential reversal pattern. Therefore, I just keep the thought on the spot, and so far the plans have not changed. I always want to fix most of the position at 0.89, which is still relevant, but the conservative goal is in this imbalance, that is, 0.65 dollars. Therefore, if we see a correction now, in my understanding the growth should continue. This is a small hint that the entire market is likely to continue to grow and Bitcoin may also reach the goal of 28 to $600. Well, in the end, let's look at the autos, which at the moment has not shown strong growth, if compared with other altcoins by the type of Atom or Lenko. Therefore, in fact, the car now looks good from the point of view of buying software, if you did not buy other Bitcoins on the local day. The conservative goal for Atas is here, and at the moment, we have not even reached this goal. Thus, it is logical to assume that we will see another local move, and in this zone, we can look closely at the local charts in order to go for a correction. But there is no clear goal for correction here. I would just highlight the data of a fracture or a fracture of this level. But these shorts are quite dangerous, and of course, you need to put a minimum risk here. And the next target for Athos is here. That's six and four dollars. Therefore, if Bitcoin goes to 28,600, 
I think this is an easily achievable goal. And right now, in my understanding, the best coin to buy on the spot, if you did not buy altcoins at the bottom, is specifically the Aptos coin. Personally, my position has been gained a long time ago, and I expect a more serious growth than 6 and 8. But let's see how it will actually be. Strongly optimistic, again, I wouldn't be based on the dollar index. Nevertheless, the prices we need for a long time now are in any case quite good and they can be accumulated. And even with the help of an averaging strategy, which can work out well in this particular period of time. And by the way, on Wednesday, I will release a video about the top five altcoins, which can be safely averaged with specific goals where they need to be fixed. Well, this video comes to an end. Thank you all for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the Telegram channel. Thank you all for watching.